Hello, and welcome to the Castmate tutorial video. Castmate 101? Something like that. Doesn't matter. You're here, hopefully, because you're like, what's Castmate, and how do I use it? Well, Castmate is a broadcast tool for Twitch streamers. It's like a chat bot and an automation software and general purpose production tools all smushed together into one application. And it's free and open source. And I make it live over on my own channel, twitch.tv slash lordtalk. So if there's a feature that you want, or it's not working right, or you're just genuinely confused, feel free to drop in and ask questions or tell me how bad it is. Any and all of the above. All right, to get Castmate, you're going to want to go to castmate.io and then hit the big old download button. It connects directly to the GitHub, so if you want to see the source code and leave an issue or, God forbid, a pull request, you can go over to github.com slash lordtalk slash castmate. Really easy to remember. So uh, give it a download. And when we run it, Windows is going to freak out a little bit because I haven't paid the absolutely excruciating price that it takes to get your code signed so that Windows doesn't freak out. So for now, just click the little run anyway button. It's mostly fine. And just do your normal install thing. Next, next, next. Wait, wait, wait. And now it's installed. All right, so the first time you start up Castmate, you're going to be greeted with this little dialogue that says, Welcome to Castmate, and it's going to help you get started. So, uh, you know, hit the button that says Get Started. And the first thing you're going to uh, want to do is sign into Twitch. And there are two accounts that you can sign into, but one is optional. The first, of course, is your Twitch channel account. This is your main channel account, the one that you stream on. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Make sure you read the permissions. Castmate asks for a lot of them. It does actually use them, but you know, don't just blindly hit authorize on things. Go look at what it can do. All right, so you can see I've been signed into my main account. There's a second optional account called the Twitch bot account. So if you want Castmate to chat as a different account, in my case, I have Toxbot, uh, you can use this account as your chatbot. I'm going to sign into Toxbot. And as you can see, the bot account doesn't ask for as many uh, permissions. All it asks is if it can send and view stream chat. All right, the next thing it's going to ask you to do is set up the OBS WebSocket. And this is what allows Castmate to talk to OBS. Now, this does only work in OBS proper, not the Streamlabs thing. Regular old OBS. All right. So it's got a link to the installer if you need it. Go there, download it, install it. It's easy. But when it comes, when you, once you get it installed, you'll need to actually configure OBS. Now, if you've used any other tools, deck board, Leoran board, streamer bot, you've probably already got this installed. But if you don't, here's what you got to do. You go into OBS, right? You go to tools, WebSocket server settings. You make sure that the checkbox for enable WebSocket server is up. You note the port. The default is 4444. And then you give it a password. Very important. Give it a password. Don't don't be lazy and not give it a password. Give it a password, okay? It's for your safety. All right? We give it a password. We say okay. We go back into our uh, into Castmate. You can keep the host name as local host. You can see the default is also 4444. Now just put in your password. All right? Now hit connect. Let's say successfully connected when it's all right, done that. And then you can hit next. Hey! Oh, hey! Huh? What? Who are you? It's you. No, I'm me. You from the future. Look, you can't you tell? There's all the cyberpunk outside. I look exactly like you. Come on, get on the same page. Okay. You gotta tell them that in the next version of OBS that I'm currently enjoying, there's gonna be a breaking change with OBS WebSocket. It's got a new version. They're going from 4.whatever to 5.whatever. All right? And it's gonna break, but... But, in exchange for breaking, it's going to come pre-installed with a bunch of fixes and fun stuff. So, you know, just tell them to be prepared. 
You know, for the new version. They can hear you. So there might be a little, little update, little update a that has to happen, right? Hey, jeez. Wait, is that our, my, your, one of those, apartment? Of course this is your apartment. Look at it. It's great. Look, it, it looks expensive. Did we make a bunch of money off Castmate? No, we didn't make a bunch of money off of Castmate. It's free. Castmate's free. Idiot. Rude. All right, and that's all the first time uh, set up. This is just a lengthy explanation about what I'm going to tell you, so it's fine. If you're watching this, just, just go with it. There is a link to the Discord that you can hop in to get extra help. I'm hanging out in there, so if you have extra questions, things like that, feature requests, uh, complaints, um, suggestions, anything, just uh, you know, hop in there. Uh, tell, tell me what you need. All right, so we're going to hit get creating. All right, it's going to drop you into a profile. Now, profiles are the base organizational building block of Castmate. They bundle together triggers. Now, what's a trigger, you're thinking? Well, a trigger is a, something like a chat command, a channel point reward redemption, when someone follows, subscribes, cheers, when you get rated, basically any sort of event that you can think of, that's a trigger. Now, profiles can be activated and deactivated. When a profile isn't active, then all of the Chat commands aren't available. Any channel point rewards you have bound in there will disappear and be unredeemable. And any of the other follows, raids, subs type things won't do anything. They won't be available. Now, you can have multiple profiles, and they can, they can be overlapping and some mutually exclusive. It's all up to you. Now, this activation and deactivation happen automatically based on the criteria that you select. So you can have certain profiles only available when you're on a certain OBS scene, or when you're playing a certain game, or when you have a certain number of viewers. I don't know, I needed three for the rule of threes. Give me a break. All right, to get started in our profile, we're going to add a trigger. Now triggers, like I mentioned, are things like a chat command, or when someone redeems a channel point reward, or when you get a new follower. But for now, for our test, we're just going to create a chat command. In the left column, you have all the, the settings for the, the trigger. In this case, we're going to make the command exclamation point test, and we want it to match at the start of the person's chat message, and we can control who's allowed to actually use this chat command. All right, in the center is actually what happens with the command. Right now, there's nothing in there. You got to use the toolbox, which is on the right. So they're grouped together. We're just going to make some text-to-speech happen. You find text-to-speech under sounds. So I can drag text-to-speech into the center, and it's going to drop one of these. Now you can click it, and it'll expand to have the extra options inside of the action. So these are actions. There's, there's tons of them. You can change your OBS scene, change the color of your lights, uh, uh, press a key, uh, uh, send a, a Minecraft command, all sorts of things. But for now... Just going to worry about text-to-speech. Pop open text-to-speech, and then we're going to say, Hello, from Castmate. Well, let's say you want to test this without having to actually go to your Twitch chat and type in exclamation point test. You can just hit this little play button right here. Hello, from Castmate. And it'll run all the actions in here. We're just going to leave it as this simple little trigger. So hit apply. Now, if you went and typed exclamation point test, into my stream chat, it still wouldn't run because you have to hit the save button up here for changes to be applied. Now, if we pull open our little chat window and we type exclamation point test. Hello from Castmate. You will hear the message. Easy as that. Let's say instead you wanted to play a sound with a chat command instead of reading out a reset message. The first thing you gotta do is put sounds in the sounds folder. So over on the left, click open sounds folder. This is gonna open up Windows Explorer directly to the sounds folder. Any sounds you put in there, Castmate can find. So I'm just gonna dump a few sound files right in there. If we pop over into Castmate and then go edit our trigger, we can delete our text to speech, pop open the sounds, drag in a sound action here, like that, and you will find a drop-down 
slash autocomplete of all the different sounds. If I can type in bonk, hit bonk mp3, and if we hit play, you'll hear the bonk sound. If I hit apply, and then save, again, pop open our window, run exclamation point test, and you'll hear the sound. Castmate's more powerful than just playing a sound, or playing text-to-speech, which is also a sound. It can sequence multiple actions together to create more interesting and cooler automations. So as an example of this, we're going to use the Metal Gear alert sound, show an exclamation point in OBS, and change our lights all at the same time inside the same trigger. To do this, we're going to have to set up our OBS scenes a little bit. Now, if you've never used a nested scene before, prepare to have your mind blown. What we're going to do is create a scene that's going to house our gameplay camera. And this is, you know, you have your gameplay, and then you have your camera that sits on top of it. We're going to make a separate scene without the gameplay. I usually use a tilde and call this gameplay camera. All right, in this empty scene, we're going to add a video capture device. We're going to use our main camera. We're going to create it. Obviously, if we're covering up gameplay, we don't need a full screen camera. So, crop a little, crop a little, hold alt to do this if you don't know that. And then shrink her down. I don't know, put, put it right about there. Maybe a little bit smaller. All right, there's our gameplay camera. Our gameplay is going to go behind it. Next, we need our exclamation point that's going to show. So, add a text GDI source. I'm going to call this uh, Metal Gear, exclamation, select the font. The one I found that was close to the Metal Gear font was Corbel Bold. Uh, and, I don't know, size 400. Put an exclamation point in there. Uh, turn on the gradient. Let's make it uh, a darker red. To like just, just a red. That doesn't look half bad. Hit OK. Put that right above my head. Right click the text. Say show transition. Swipe. We want it to swipe up. And right click it again. And say hide transition. I'm going to use fade. So now, when I hide it, it fades out. When I show it, it kind of warps in. Out, in, out, in. All right. Now, over in your actual game scene, I have this Apex clip that's just looping in lieu of actual game capture. You're going to add a scene source and then select your gameplay camera. And now... That scene that you made is sitting right on top of your gameplay. And you can actually crop this down and reposition it however you'd like. So, like, right, right here between the minimap. Back to your gameplay camera, hide the Metal Gear so it's hidden. All right, it's looking good. We got our camera, fake play in Apex. All right, back in Castmate now. Before you can get lights to work with Castmate, you're gonna have to connect your Philips Hue hub to Castmate. So go over on the left, click on Settings, find Hue Lights, and click it. Now, locate your Hue hub because you're gonna have to hit the button on it. So once you click this button, you got roughly about 30 seconds to hit the button on the Hue hub. So if it's on the other side of the house, you know, prepare yourself, okay? So. Click the Connect to Hue button, and then go hit the button on your hub. You'll know you've connected successfully when the button changes to Reconnect to Hue Hub. Now we can go back to our profile. So over on the left, click on Profiles, find Main, click that, and now you're back. We're going to say Add Trigger. We're going to make this a Channel Points Redemption. We're going to say Create New Reward. I'm going to call this Spotted. You've spotted the streamer. I don't know. Give it a better name when you're doing this. It's going to cost one. Skip the queue so that you don't have to clear a thousand of these out eventually and hit create. 
Now, for our actions, we're going to first play a sound. We're going to say alert. That's our Metal Gear sound. The important thing to realize about actions is they don't wait until they're done. So if I drop another action right below this, say source visibility for uh, OBS, it will play the sound and immediately move on to the source visibility. It doesn't wait until the sound is done. So the sound starts playing. In our source visibility, we're going to select our gameplay camera scene and choose our Metal Gear exclamation point thing and set toggle, source toggle to on. If I were to we'll hit apply, if I were to play this, you can hear the sound. And if we pop over to OBS, you can see that the exclamation point is now visible. So back into Castmate, we're also going to change our lights to red transition time 0.1 seconds and change the living room. Then under the Castmate uh, tag, there's actually delays. So if you do want to wait in between things, you can explicitly add a delay. So we're going to add a delay of 1.5 seconds. Any action we put after here will have to wait a second and a half before it runs. So we will change our source visibility again. Gameplay camera, source, Metal Gear. Make sure to tap that twice. That's a bug. I'm going to fix that. Sorry about that. It says source visible false there. You need that to, that to be there. Then we can change our hue lights back to green. And I'm going to leave the transition time as a, at 0.5 seconds. So we'll hit apply. And we'll hit save. So to see the final thing, let's have OBS showing. Pull open our little popped out chat. Go in here. Select spotted. Redeem. And as you can see, the sound plays. The exclamation point shows. And my lights all change. All together. All right, that's like a basic overview of all the things we can do. I know it's 17 minutes in at this point, but there's a lot of other features too. It can update your title and tags. It can automatically activate thing uh, automations when certain stuff happens. It's got timers. There's variables. You can execute JavaScript. It's there's a lot. There's just a bunch in there. Um, hey, uh, uh, future me. Uh, F future me. Yeah, what? can you tell them what what features are coming, you know, in your time? What are what's available in the future? Okay. Fine. All right. In the future, or my now, we've got all sorts of cool castmate stuff. There's an overlay system for alerts and widgets and wheels and fun emotes and all sorts of stuff but we've also got a shareability system so if you make something cool you can send it to someone and you don't have to make a 17 minute tutorial for them to set it up just go click and then it sets up obs and imports all the assets and all that stuff it's all taken care of don't worry about it easy and if you're lazy then you can just download other people's stuff just whoop, download it just put it in there it's nice uh, and oh, and there's a plugin system. So, you know, uh, if Castmate doesn't do something, someone with a little bit of JavaScript skills can make a plugin and then it'll fit right into Castmate and do all the stuff you need it to do, which is really handy. Because, you know, that handiness is what got me this ball in cyberpunk apartment. So if you want to make sure that this future is real and you definitely get all of those Castmate features and I get to live in this really real apartment that's definitely a thing, then you should head over to twitch.tv slash lordtalks and follow the development of, you know, younger past me while he makes all these features, these cool features. You should do that. You should do that. Thanks. Bye.